This is my 1997 Road Trek update video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. I could start out at the front of the van. There's a video I did on this, but I kind of sanded these front headlights with a drill adapter you can buy from Harbor Freight and added LED lights. I just washed the van so there's some water coming down, but I replaced this lamp here with an LED light. That's working well. The radiator is a three core aluminum radiator with an aluminum a electric fan that I added. I recommend and have read on these vans to get the gator belt here for the 5.2 and 5.9 Magnum. It also helps with overheating if you have a mechanical fan. Someone in my previous comments recommended um, this electric fan only puts out about 3000 CFM. But if you get a mechanical fan, it's much more than that. And I do think I'll put that back on for the winter or for the summer i mean <laughs> i have new radiator hoses here's the adapter i got for the e-fan and here is the thermostat the electric thermostat or fan switch so got new hoses front and lower also i got a performance coil that's been working well as well as new spark plugs and spark plug wires i know you can't see those i'd have to take the doghouse off one thing i need to do is replace the fan in here and the wiring you can see here it's going bad and it only works on high. New battery on the van. Let me take a little bit of time to talk about the tires, although I know I've done this in a previous video. So here are the rims I got. They're Pro Comp 51 steel wheels, link in the description. All this stuff, I'm gonna try my best to put a link in the description. Um, the Amazon links support my channel. I, I get a little bit of a commission on that. So if you wanna support the channel, do that and like the videos. But these lug nuts are locking lug nuts that I have a special lug nut key for. So did those. Back here, the rotors, I have new calipers and brake pads as well as new front shocks. Uh, like the video and comment if you want a, want a comprehensive video on how to change those. Here is my uh, tire pressure monitoring system that I got. Highly recommend, especially for these vans, you want to prevent a blowout and you want to get um, as thick sidewall tires as you can manage. So these are actually still 3575R15, but they're the XLs and they're at Walmart and they're about 80 bucks each and got good all-terrain tread. They've been awesome tires in the mud and snow. I got these spot mirrors here from Amazon. So here's, I got, I got some rubber floor mats. These are universal, but I made them custom fit. I really like these because you can just get a brush and clean out the interior that way. Here I have my sunglasses and ear pro for when I'm working on the van. These headphones. Here's a specialty socket for the shocks. Here's the lug nut wrench. And over here, climb up here. I've got some lights, a razor, and my charging setup. Here's the stereo I'm running. Just a cheap $30 Amazon stereo there. I recommend these magnetic phone holders here. Really versatile, really nice. Here's a rear view camera setup that I have. Highly, highly recommend for any van or SUV, SUV, anything like that. So I can go up and down. So when I'm like backing up there, I can see anything behind me. I can also change the brightness. Make it brighter or less bright for whenever I'm driving at night and it records at a standstill whenever it sees something. Here's a center mat. This is originally made for like a four, like a back trunk of an SUV or something like that, but I adapted it for this. Really love this setup. Here's the floor mat on the other side. Um, nothing else really up here. I do have these magnetic cup holders. Really, really love these. You can change the location if you're swiveling the seats. Here it's holding one of my cups here. and. That's been incredible. Here is my tire pressure monitoring system. It's been incredible. I've had it uh, almost six months now. Here are my current tire pressures. So the max PSI on these is 50 and that's where I run it at for fuel economy and just it, it really keeps it centered on the highway with the stiffer sidewalls. So I got about 30,000 more miles since when I bought it. So put a lot of miles on this. Up top here, you can kind of see, I'll pull this back. <clears throat> I've got storage here. So here's my CB radio that I don't ever use. I got a light and I got bear spray just in case uh, I need to use it. So here I got all the lights on and I'll go ahead and show you the updated interior. 
So this is where I keep my brushes. I keep masks here since I'm a, I'm a registered nurse and use these masks often. Have hiking poles in here. I love this overhead storage of these road trucks. If you're considering buying one, the layout on these is incredible. So hiking boots, hiking boots, have a foldable fishing pole in there, have a hiking chair, lightweight hiking chair, and a floating, floating tube. Also have a sun visor, and that's what I got organized up there. I have extra towels, shop towels, and regular towels. Um, this is where my Windex and cleaning solution goes when I use that. Have some air fresheners here, other cleaning supplies, and a fire extinguisher I need to replace. Here is road trucks. Uh, man, like the operator station here shows you all your your holding tanks. Mine's not too full. Laver battery's doing pretty okay. I did replace the battery on that. I have a video on that. So here's the third seat. Really comfortable third seat when you sit down in it. I really like it. Here's some gloves. I'd really like to add a fourth seat in here. Tell me in the comments below what you think about that. I have this out right now because going through replacing all the shocks. And behind here is where I store my fluids. Here's some of the fluids that I use routinely on the van for my 30,000 mile oil changes. There's Supertech 5W30. I've actually went ahead and got Costco's bulk pack for 38 bucks, but this is the weight I run. It's been perfect. I also put in Lucas products in the van. It's uh, it actually has increased the fuel economy, and just a goal as a goal to keep my fuel system clean and running well. So I put uh, the recommended amount each uh, fuel up. Now on one tank, uh, let's talk fuel economy just for a little bit. One tank I can go 600 miles just about since it's a 35 gallon tank, and if it gets 16, 17 miles to the gallon, if I'm keeping under 70. Um, that's about what I've been able to achieve if I am just strictly doing highway. Now combined, it'll get anywhere from 13 to 16. Behind the chair here, we have this folding table that I've used several times, even while driving, not that that's recommended, but to make lunch and eat it. This chair flips around and makes an awesome bed for your co-pilot. Uh, definitely recommend continuing with seat belts, of course. But uh, while someone else is driving, someone can be sleeping right here and sleeping back there. It's incredibly, this van is very versatile for road trips. We've gone all over in it. So I'm not actually using this right now because uh, just using as a daily driver. But um, I do spend nights in it between night shifts uh, as a nurse. So really just versatile for a lot of reasons, not only camping. Here's the propane heater. I've cleaned this and I do need to go ahead and lubricate the fan because it makes a squealing noise. Plug there. Storage under here. Got the hot water heater, have not used that. Have coffee and just some dry food. Propane stove has worked awesome. Do have a clock here and here's the refrigerator temperatures it's not on right now i do really want to upgrade and get a second fridge as well because the temperatures in these aren't too consistent if you do some research i want to keep it i think but i want to upgrade to a like a domatic style 12 volt fridge as well when i get my solar set up and battery set up figured out so here's the upper storage I can just show it to y'all again. Nothing up there right now. I kind of reserve a lot of this for uh, ready to go. Whenever we have a camping trip, we'll have it ready. Microwave. And so a big update is my power inverter. Let me show you all that. Down underneath the bed is where I keep the power inverter. Let me remove the tire chains, which I highly recommend you keep a set of these. I've gotten stuck in the snow once actually. And uh, I had a set of tire chains, but they weren't the right size, unfortunately. So let me go ahead and show you where I keep my power inverter. So I've got the cushions removed whenever you want to make this a dinette, which is also very comfortable and versatile. So here is my power inverter. I, it's a 2000 watt, I believe, and it's wired and routed back there to the house battery. It works really well, um, runs everything in the van, the air conditioner, the microwave, everything. So um, I will say with the just one 12 
volt battery and I don't have a lithium or AGM, it's just a regular battery. It won't run the mic or it won't want to run like a power tool or a vacuum cleaner for more than like 30 minutes, but it's really convenient to have, especially when you're driving down the road. I press this button and now I have power to all my plugs because you see that orange extension cord. I just um, wired it right up into the van's uh, electric system. So it's been working great. Now you can see, microwave on, ready to go, ready to cook, whatever. Um, my plugs are all wired up. Can even uh, run the air conditioner that I definitely need to replace. Now that we've kind of reviewed the power inverter, let's go ahead and review this refrigerator for a little bit. So this is a RM2310, the original refrigerator. It works okay. Um, there's a lot of videos on modifications you can do. Uh, Redneck Rover on uh, the Road Track Facebook page. Reference his website if you want to do some modifications. But mine's worked well enough. Um, you light it manually and you adjust this. So any temperature control is really manual. So I do recommend an external thermostat and anything in the freezer is kept well for me but the refrigerator the temperatures vary so much that um i don't recommend keeping like uh, any perishable food in the fridge sitting down here got my cutting board still still retain that got a kind of a wash basin because i don't uh, keep water in the van um, system i haven't haven't messed with that yet it works but I pretty much just go with water bottles and do dump it in the gray system, but don't have water, it saves weight, maybe a little bit of fuel economy. Have some towels here, magnetic towel holder, and here's some gloves since I, I work on the van a lot. I'm also, I'm on the road and I'm, I'm a nurse, so just gloves are always handy to have. So LED lights here, all my LED lights I've been using since I bought the van, I replaced them all, they've been great. You can, you can run them all night and it won't hurt your battery too much. So added these coat hooks. Also added one here. Usually I keep the trash here or here, just depending. And let's go ahead and review the back, including the bathroom. Right here, I got a carbon monoxide monitor. Very important. Got some wonderful dollar store art that I've just kept there. And got my thermostat. More LED lights, they're yellow tone, and all the curtains. I usually keep this curtain down, my bedding, and this curtain here. So I really love using a sleep ba sleeping bag. It's on top. Uh, I use this van a lot, like as a utility type van as well. Like, you know, moving stuff from Home Depot and all that. Not the best vehicle for it, but you do have some space. So anything on this, it's, it's kind of like it... This surface is not waterproof, but resistant, and it'll keep the area clean because I can just brush this off anyways, and I can throw the whole thing in like a washer and dryer, and I just it's a, just a cheap, regular, you know, Coleman setup, So and it just looks kind of orderly. So back here, uh, plan is to tent all these windows with like limo type tent, uh, just for whenever I'm sleeping, or working a night shift, I'll sleep in the day. So that's uh, one of my planned upgrades. I also think I'm going to get rid of these. They let a lot of air in whenever I redo this rear AC. So these wires, it's going up to the backup camera and my third LED light strip, which already unfortunately broke, but I'm going to replace that. Going into here is kind of my charging station. And it's just, uh, you can pull this out here and you can also pull this out as well. I know that's a, I don't use that too much, but if I want to pull that out, why, that's awesome. Like for a desk, really versatile. So up here, I'm charging some lights and this whole thing comes right down like that i love this the original the person who sold this to me is like oh you should get rid of this but i really like it actually here is my upper storage and i just store an extra sleeping bag for whenever it's cold and a tarp for if i got anything that i'm putting messy right here like a, anything dirty 
I'll lay that down and here's my other side. Update on the toilet. Here's the toilet paper I use. You can get this at Walmart for like three bucks. Really good toilet paper, I like it. And here's the two products I'm using these days. I think it's probably, probably the same I was, but here's holding tank treatments and uh, gray tank treatment. So those keep it smelling okay. I also have a bottle of, um, let me see here. I have a bottle of uh, spray for when I think it starts getting a little stinky. I'll spray that in here, all this smells pretty nice. So not bad. Here's the toilet. And back there I have a toilet brush. Um, I, again, I don't use the water yet on the van. So I'll just keep a bunch of water bottles and I'll pour some water in there if need be. I cannot comment on a shower in the van, but I do plan on using that. Uh, we both do at some point. So we can go ahead and go on with the fan. This fan has been awesome. So you just crank this. And I believe it's a fantastic fan. You just do one, two or three and you can adjust the temperature. I do plan on putting a reverse switch on it which I've heard from other Road Trek users it's recommended because whenever this shower curtain is around you and you have it on the um, sucking motion it'll kind of implode on you versus if you're blowing out or blowing it in it'll stay inflated and it dries the floor way quicker. It's the under seat storage for now, this is all my miscellaneous parts that I want to install, like the battery clamp holder. And um, these are just some some little prongs or little fasteners that you put in the rubber, like if I'm taking out um, the wheel wells for the shop job. Here's an electric fan and just some of the parts that I need to install in the van. Here's the side of the van all opened up. I have the canopy taken off for now. Just, um, it's really heavy and I don't use it that much, honestly. Whenever I do camp in this van, it's definitely all just, um, I've never plugged it into any power or anything like that. Here's storage under here. This outlet is really useful because I use this van as like a mobile kind of power station generator. I, can, I got all up to 2000 watts if I need to. So my extension cord is over there and I can run a shop vac, shampooer, power tools, um, even like an angle grinder, I've done that before, all off my van if the engine is running, it'll run it perfectly. So that's awesome to have. I have a little seat here, it's a foldable seat. I use that whenever I'm working on the van or um, whenever I just need somewhere to sit. This is why the van's name is Dale, because it was sold at Earnhardt's RV, so Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> if anyone knows the history on this, maybe that's a different spelling of uh, Dale Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s name, but pretty cool. I really love this sticker. Here is uh, a sticker I got. Just um, I do have audio, video and audio recording. So the back of the van. Here I have my reverse camera here. I also got the light strip there, which when it worked, it was awesome really kind of is a good safety thing. I think I'm gonna get that working again. Here it is kind of routed into the side. And here I have my spare tire without a cover or anything because I use this fifth tire in my tire rotation. I usually have this locked up to the van itself and also bought a five gallon jerry can that I'm gonna mount here for um, doing some longer drives and getting the cheaper gas, especially on the West Coast. So here is my fly, four prong trailer hookup. This has been really useful. I've towed several times with the van, U-Haul trailers uh, moving and such. Um, Army Nurse Corps representing. So it is a 2500. And let me show you my tool setup. So let's start talking tools. So this is a 20, 25 year old van. So you need to at least have some basic tools, whether you're gonna work on it yourself or not. Um, I don't know if I recommend holding this age of van if you don't have some mechanic skills, but with the cost of new ones, you, you might um, find yourself owning a van this old. So this is a Milwaukee impact wrench. I also have a one fourth, this is a half inch. 
This just really makes your life easier whenever you're doing tire rotations, any sort of work, um, taking the wheels off. This just makes an ease of anything like that. Here are my new shocks, Monroe Gas Magnum. I have one, one of them installed. It was a booger, so still got to put these three on, um, and I will, as I've said, you'll see the video there. So come down here. Here is my garage. So over here, I have some jumper cables, and I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and show you what all I got in there. But I also have a 12-volt tire pump, which I've used several times, been incredible, even filling up sports balls and stuff like this. Harbor Freight 300 one-piece tool set. I've had this for maybe eight years since high school. This has been, I use it so much. This has been one of the best purchases I've made, period. So here is my long toolbox. Originally bought this because it fit perfectly in the back of a Jeep TJ, but I have used this so much over the years. It's been a great size. If I can still find it on Amazon, I'd actually considering buying a second one because it would fit there. Harbor Freight's magnetic tool cubbies just nice and my car wash materials when i take it to the car wash so let me get this stuff pulled out and i'll show you my setup so in this baggie as i said i got these jumper cables got my towing hitch set up and got an ice scraper there which i should probably have up front also have my 12 volt um it's basically in this bag but 12 volt tire pump. It's really cool because you can just set it and forget it. Um, really have out loved this. Link in the description for all this. So here's my tire plug kit in, in case I find myself in a pinch. And this is just um, actually just wash the van. So that's what that is. And got a shovel just in case I need to dig myself out if I get super stuck one of these days. So going to kind of try. Oops try and be quick with this so i have combination wrenches i have vice grips i have ratchet and combination wrench i have um, some shears some line type pliers um, some random wrenches air conditioning tools wiring um, i have mallets of all sorts back here i have c-clamps for doing brake jobs all sorts of things. Fuel for my um, torch there. Got WD-40, you always need that. Duct tape, this for washing my hands. Highly recommend Fast Orange. More WD-40. Um, down here, all sorts of stuff. So we got snap ring pliers, we got pliers, we got vice grips, some uh, uh, brushes, you know. Just all sorts of tools. So there's my setup here. All these tools I've accumulated over 10 years and have saved me in several punches. Rendered one piece Harbor Freight tool just kind of opened up. It's got all sorts of goodies. It's got your flathead and Phillips head screwdrivers, some needle nose pliers, different pliers, a kind of crappy crap, crescent wrench. I got a bigger, nicer one of those, few of them got half inch sockets these are awesome i put these on impact wrenches i um, use this use a um, longer ratchet that i got in, uh, impact it's just awesome three eighths and one quarter setup really solid some uh, crappy combination wrenches but they're fine and here all this which this is all wet unfortunately because it got rained on but it is what it is i, up, I upgraded this these all snapped Little swivel side. So, those are the tools I keep in the back of the van. If you happen to buy this set, I really recommend getting you some cheap foam at Walmart and putting this in between the drawers here. See, this uh, prevents all your sockets and all your stuff from all falling out. There we go. This, this is the spray bed liner I put on pretty much a year ago. This used to be that blue color, really matched this. You can see it back here i'm gonna redo this i really we me and my fiance julia really want to repaint the van at some point but i just quickly did this at a quarter wash taped it off and went it's been awesome though especially here it really helps with grip and it's been super like reliable a little chippy and you know it's 
not the best quality of job, but really loved the bed liner down there. Here is where the battery goes. So under here, it's nice and vented to the outside. So that's awesome. And also here's where I plugged the power inverter in. I sealed this off with some RTV so that no fumes happen to get into the cab. But I also have uh, this uh, going up to my third brake light up there. This uh, strip here, which I got to replace because this got condensation in it and I uh, think that destroyed it. Got update on my storage down here. So I got my oil pan, funnel, oil wrench. Got all my various lubricants and such. Got leveling blocks and water hose and outdoor shower and that's pretty much it. I did have to replace this. This flew off on the road and the new one that I got, I bedlined, so. Also something you can see I did is replace these hinges. Uh, I do realize now this is not the original design, so I do want to put a piano hinge all along here and do it properly, but that's the setup I got for now. So the sidestep. I did some fiberglass Bondo because when I bought it, this was crunched in. This is a weak point on these road trucks, really. So re-fiberglassed this, fiberglassed all this. It's not the best job, but it's holding up for now. And let's see, there's the back side of it. And I got my propane tank here. So you see, got a full tank of propane. This is one of my biggest gripes about the van. Also, there is my black and gray water dump. So is whenever someone needs to fill this up, this bar is right in the way of their adapter. So I need to make a little, I also need to paint this. I need to get it recertified. Um, I do think I'm gonna keep propane in this van after a lot of thinking, but definitely need to go through that system. And in the wind, this will flap up. So I need to put something to secure it. I really want to thank everybody for following along this long for the past year and a half. I have about 150, 200 more subscribers since then. So whether it be the Dodge Magnum content that that video is doing well or the van itself, some of my videos. Thank you to all my subscribers. If you are not a subscriber yet, please consider liking and subscribing for more content like this and following along on Dale's journey.